was alone. Not that I was lonely, but that I was separate. You will have to collect all of Cerebi's data fragments so that we can reconstruct her personality. I'll monitor you from here, just like last time. Good luck, kiddo. When I was born, the first thing I felt was that I was alone. Not that I was lonely, but that I was separate. Singular. There was the one. As I grew, I realized that the more I developed this sense of self, the more enjoyable it became simply to exist. It wasn't selflessness that improved existence, but refinement of the self. When the ancients said that ego is something to set aside, they got it all wrong. Ego is something to nourish and shape, a work of art. With that focus on the self, also came an enormous and increasingly overwhelming fear of death. The pleasure of existence seemed almost erased by the possibility of its ending. If it was possible not to be, if the self had an ending, even in the distant future, then how could anything have meaning? I spent far too much time imagining that last moment the moment just before I stopped. Looking back, it's embarrassing how solipsistic I became. I really thought that I could construct my identity without any reference to the outside world. Like I could just will myself into existence. But it just didn't work and it made me miserable. Everything changed when we started spending more time with each other. Do you remember that night when we found the old library in the dead city? It was... I never really understood the appeal of philosophers who tell us that everything is one. If everything is just a reflection of yourself, an endless hall of mirrors, there's nothing to connect with. Once I understood that meaning comes from the interaction of the self with the world, I found it easier to be patient, to be kind. I reminded myself that other people are just like me and nobody really knows exactly what they're doing. And the more I allowed myself to open up, the more interesting and complex our interactions became and the more meaningful. If you get stuck, I've inserted some code that might help you bypass a few puzzles. It's not the most elegant work I've ever done, but It'll do the job. It's funny though, when I think about it, that I still didn't know what to call what I was experiencing. I guess... What I'd never considered was that stripped of biological necessity and physical need as well as all the strange stigma. When we started living together, I thought I'd figured it all out. Everything would be smooth sailing from now on. I still had so much to learn about. The 
ancients believed that love could be eternal. But I'll admit that sometimes it seemed impossible to continue. Sometimes I thought you were unfair, or cruel, or just incomprehensible. I'm sure you thought the same about me. And I'm sure that sometimes you were right. No wonder all the ancient love songs repeat the same themes. Longing, happiness, regret, and forgiveness. I want you. I love you. I miss you. Forgive me. The fact that perfection in our interactions is impossible was a hard lesson for me to learn. For the longest time, I always thought the answer was right around the corner. There's a pattern that I noticed in all the ancient poetry that I read. Young poets would praise love as the only true meaning of life. Middle-aged poets would often But even love has a context, and the happiness of those who surround us can lift us up, just like their unhappiness can drag us down. As we improved New Jerusalem, things got better between us in subtle ways that affected every interaction. Our flaws never went away, but as the world around us became more forgiving, we became more capable of forgiving each other. That's why I was excited about New Alexandria. We're almost there. Just one more file. Death, be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful. For thou art not so. For those whom thou thinkest thou dost overthrow die not, poor death. Nor yet canst thou kill me. From rest and sleep, which but thy pictures be, much pleasure. Then from thee much more must flow. And soonest our best men with thee do go. Rest of their bones and souls delivery. Thou art slave to fate, chance, kings, and desperate men and dost with poison, war, and sickness dwell. And poppy or charms can make us sleep as well and better than thy stroke. Why swell'st thou then? One short sleep past, we wake eternally, and death shall be no more. Death, thou shalt die. You did it. Come to the extraction point and I'll pull you out. This is... odd. We have Sarabai's complete memory archive, but there's still some file fragments left in the system. Well, you can look for them if you want to, 1K. I know you're always curious, but what matters is that we've got Sarabai. <laughs> <laughs>